In a market where rental prices are plummeting and landlords are in panic mode, the once stable world of real estate is in upheaval. Are you ready to navigate these turbulent waters and seize the opportunities that lie within? The real estate landscape is experiencing a peculiar phenomenon, a hidden housing crash that's quietly reshaping the market. While superficial indicators suggest a minor cooling off, a deeper dive reveals a more alarming trend. This invisible decline in housing prices is not immediately apparent to the casual observer, but it's crucial for understanding the current state of the market. Often cited in real estate analyses, the Case-Shiller Index tells part of the story. The latest reports show a modest decrease of about 2.5% from its peak in mid-2022. At first glance, this might seem like a mere hiccup in an otherwise robust market. However, the Case-Shiller Index is notoriously a lagging indicator. Its methodology involves looking back over several months, which means it can miss rapid shifts in the market. It's like trying to gauge today's weather by looking at last month's forecasts. Useful for understanding trends, but not for reacting to current conditions. Let's contrast this with data from Redfin, a real estate listing platform with access to a vast real-time dataset. Redfin's numbers tell a starkly different story. Where the case Schiller points to a slight dip, Redfin's data shows a significant drop of 12.6% in home prices. So what could this discrepancy mean? When we peel back the layers of the real estate market, we uncover a striking discrepancy in data interpretation that's more than just a matter of numbers. It's a tale of two different market narratives. On one hand, we have the Case-Shiller Index, a time-honored gauge of housing prices, suggesting a gentle dip in the market with a 2.5% decline from its peak. This number paints a picture of a market that's merely taking a breather, nothing to lose sleep over, but here's where it gets intriguing. Enter Redfin's data, which presents a starkly different scene, showing a steep 12.6% fall in home prices. This isn't just a slight variance, it's a chasm that forces us to question which version of reality we're living in. This divergence is more than just a curiosity for statisticians, it has real implications for everyone in the market. For investors, it's like navigating with a map that doesn't match the terrain. Relying on the Case-Shiller Index might lead to overly optimistic investment decisions, while the Redfin data could signal a need for caution and re-evaluation of strategies. It's a classic case of look before you leap, but first, ensure you're looking at the right indicators. And it's not just investors who should be paying attention. Diving into the realm of real estate forecasts, the air is thick with predictions and warnings from those at the helm of industry expertise. Picture the CEOs of major firms like CoStar and KPMG not just crunching numbers, but reading the tea leaves of the market's future. Their insights are not just mere speculation, but backed by years of experience and heaps of data. For instance, when CoStar's CEO speaks of a potential 20% dip in home prices, it's not fear-mongering, but a cautious heads up. It's reminiscent of a weathered sailor sensing a storm on the horizon. This prediction starkly contrasts with the optimism that once buoyed the market, revealing a shifting undercurrent. These insights draw an inevitable comparison with the notorious 2008 housing market crash. It's like looking in a rearview mirror and seeing a familiar shadow looming. However, the tale has a twist. The current market dynamics differ significantly. This isn't a repeat telecast of 2008. The script has changed. The foundations of the market have been fortified since then with stricter lending standards and a transformed subprime market. Yet the warning bells toll, suggesting that even the strongest fort can be besieged, this time potentially by the massive withdrawal of investors and iBuyers. The ripple effects of these predictions could touch every corner of the national and local real estate markets. We're talking about shifts that could alter the fabric of home ownership investment strategies, and even community compositions. It's like a chess game where a single move can change the outcome. The real estate market, often compared to a grand theater, has witnessed a dramatic shift in the role played by its key actors, the investors. 
In the past decade, the spotlight was on big Wall Street investors who, like seasoned performers, dramatically reshaped the housing market's landscape. They weren't just passive spectators, their aggressive investment strategies significantly increased housing prices. It was a golden era for iBuyer programs, those tech-savvy instant home buying schemes that swept through the market like a whirlwind. Companies like Open Door, Redfin, and Zillow weren't just dabbling in real estate, they were actively molding it, offering above-market home prices and inflating the market to unprecedented levels. But as with any dramatic narrative, there comes a turning point. The once-celebrated iBuyer programs began to witness their fall from grace. This wasn't a slow descent, it was more akin to a sudden drop from a cliff. As these programs started to pull back, partly due to unsustainable business models and partly due to changing market conditions, their departure left a noticeable void. As we gaze into the crystal ball of the housing market, the future of home rental prices is sketching an intriguing narrative, one that's closely intertwined with the ebb and flow of investor activity. Imagine a scene where big investors, once the stalwarts of the housing market, start withdrawing their stakes. This isn't just a minor subplot, it's a game changer for the rental market. The retreat of these investors who had been snapping up properties left and right is like a tide receding, revealing a new landscape for landlords and renters alike. Landlords, those seasoned sailors of the real estate seas, are now navigating these changing currents. Some are tightening their belts, preparing for potentially lower rental incomes as the flood of available properties could lead to a competitive market. Others might consider selling off properties, reshaping the rental landscape even further. This shift is particularly fascinating when we compare it to historical trends. Historically, rental markets have been relatively stable, with gradual increases in rent prices. In this ever-evolving tapestry of the real estate market, homeowners and renters alike find themselves at a crossroads, pondering the implications of these seismic shifts. For homeowners, it's akin to waking up in a familiar room that suddenly started to change its decor. The market's fluctuations mean re-evaluating their property's value, possibly affecting decisions on whether to sell, refinance, or hold. It's a delicate balancing act, weighing the potential benefits of cashing in on their investment against the uncertainty of finding affordable housing in the current market. Meanwhile, renters are navigating their own unique maze. The potential increase in rental properties, thanks to investor withdrawal, could be a silver lining leading to more options and more competitive rental prices. It's like the housing market is throwing a curveball, and renters need to decide whether to swing or wait for the next pitch. Both homeowners and renters must adopt strategies befitting this new market reality. Homeowners might consider more careful market analysis before making big decisions, seeking advice from real estate experts to understand local trends. It's about being informed and agile, ready to adapt to the market's whims. Watch this next video for more investment trends.